what's up everyone i'm back again with this gen 3 which is year 2014 this is currently up for sale at only 95 ugandan shillings yeah 95 million ugandan shillings and also if you have any car you want to buy don't hesitate to call me on 070 yeah so let me, let me start by talking about the engines so the production of this generation started way back in 2013 November and it was ended in 2020. It was assembled in Japan and it came with three engine variants. This is currently a 2.0 but uh, the engines that came with this car are the three ZRFAE in line 4 with the Duo VVTi. Yeah, and Valvomatic. So as I take you around and I explain about these engines. So the 3ZR makes 100 and 90, 149 horsepower. Yeah, and it's a 2.0. It also comes with a 7-speed simulation gearbox. Secondly, uh, this car also comes with the this current generation, the third generation, comes with the 8AR FTS Turbo inline 4 VVTi W and the D4ST also comes with the turbo charger as standard, but not this one, but the third generation Harrier. So, <laughs> this 8 the 8AR makes a whooping sum of 200 and 28 horsepower yeah it comes that engine comes uh, with a, a six speed the six speed gearbox and uh, lastly we have the hybrid that is a 2AR FXE straight for VVTE VVTIE yeah that's a 2.4 so those are the engine variants that you can get the trim levels of this car are uh are five trim levels yeah so there is the grand the elegance the premium elegance gears and then the premium advanced yeah the premium is the high-end variant of this car so <laughs> and the elegance is the on the other hand is the modest of features yeah that's the it's like the best mode of this Toyota harrier watch to watch out for let me say like the disadvantages of this car and this car looks sick the disadvantages of this car are uh, it's 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 a uh, let me say what i can say is that uh, it's high but the disadvantage it has is not off-road capable so you don't have those uh, those bad off-road 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 options yeah does it have that and then parts are expensive in uganda and it's hard to repair yeah that's what i can say you will get problems with this car <laughs> when it comes to repairing it needs the right mechanic when it comes to repairing this car so you have to watch out for that and then also, this car here. Uh, let me let me talk about the technology of this car, and then I'm going to talk about how this car looks. This car looks bad and sick, as you can see. It has those sharp edges. Yeah, as you can see, it's a Harrier. So <laughs> it has those sharp edges. And then, uh, it's a nice car. When it comes to looking nice, it has this baby mirror here. That's there. And then also it has an indicator over there. So, this currently has a Valvematic engine. So, let me open it for you. 
and uh, we see what this engine is all about in a second. So when it comes to technology, this car is bad. It's very, very bad. <laughs> So the chairs feel expensive, uh, they don't feel cheap at all. The hazard lights located over there. But I, <laughs> there is a way this looks. It doesn't look like a button, it's, it actually looks like glass. Yeah, this car feels so expensive. And it's worth that 95 million Ugandan shillings. And then you can switch the mods from here. As you can see, you can press it from here. You can control everything from here. The music can control it from here. And then those are SC controls. They are actually, you just press them. They are not actual buttons. See? And uh, this is your radio. It has an Android radio. So it's good. And it feels fast. It doesn't feel slow. So when you come over here, those are the controls for the mirror and they are all automated so this chair here is powered it's electrically powered and then uh, that's how it looks here it has an airbag there an airbag there and uh, let me go at the back here it has lots of space and then it has the vents at the back here. So, move my jacket a bit. This can be moved here like this. See how that opens? So, just close it back. Lots of boot space at the back. This can fold like that. And then you get plenty of space at the back there. So, let me open it at the back here. So it doesn't open automatically. So that's the car, how it looks there. Um, uh, that's how it looks. It has never been involved in any accident. So it has a rear wiper. So, let me start it up. That's the key. Yeah, it's push to start. So, one thing I like about this car is this. Just take a look how it, how it, how it turns on. Yeah, that Harrier logo. And then, let me press the brake. It has started up. Yeah, I like how that looks, and uh, you see, it shifts well in gears. Yeah, that's the D, that's the spot mode. Yeah, that's gear one. See, this, this is a bit modern, so you can't shift into gears when it's just there. And then uh, the steering feels so small to me. So those are the wipers, the wiper controls. And then those are the light controls there. So let me first uh, show you the engine in a minute. Open it from here, like that. And then uh, you come over here. So that's how the engine looks like. That's the valve matic, it's a 2.0. So that's how it sounds. And uh, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. That wraps up the video of the day. Stay tuned for another one. I'll be bringing other cars very soon. 
that are for sale. If you want any car, just contact me on that number down there. I'll be showing you other cars, other good cars. Shall meet until next time.